Welcome to Instant Discussions. This episode number 80 some odd. 89. <laughs> Something in there. Not 89. 89. Uh, <laughs> Alright, uh, today we're discussing Mr. Smith Goes to Washington from 1939. Uh, I haven't kept track of like what the oldest film we've talked about on here is. This is James Stewart. Somewhere around Ooh. there. Yeah, James Stewart. This is this Jimmy. Is classy. No, this is where he, this is, he's a serious actor. Not like, not fun old Jimmy Stewart. This is James Stewart. Mm. He's on there. Now, <clears throat> have you seen this before? Never. Okay, and Never. seven. Never. Crazy. I've seen this movie hundreds of times. That's weird. That's maybe. even crazier. That sounds crazier <laughs> to me, yeah. All right, maybe probably a hundred times. Maybe about that. Um, I think so, this, this might be our oldest film. This could be. Uh, I can't think of... We'll figure it out later. I mean, it's, we've had a lot of episodes now, so... Yeah, we've done some old ones, but I think this is probably the some oldest. Old ones, some new ones. Uh, so, what did you guys think? What was your first impressions of this movie, having not been aware of it? Well, you mean aware of it, but not having seen it. Of course, the first thing that crossed my mind was every episode of every sitcom that copied them. Mm. Certain scenes, especially Simpsons. Of course. Yeah. Simpsons <laughs> definitely takes it. And then you're watching the entire thing and you're like, oh, that's from that. Oh, that's from that. That's always fun so when you that, watch old movies. I didn't know. I didn't see so much in there that it's taken from, like, not not as much as in a movie like Casablanca where they take almost every line from it or... No, um, no. It was more It was more like the that, end, the filibustering yeah, part. Like the end that part. part. Get a yeah. Lot of that. It's kind of the, the, I, you know, when you talk about filibustering, like, this is... Here's your example. Yeah, that. I don't think anybody knew what that was until this movie came out, probably. Maybe not. No one. At least no one outside of the politics or following. So at least this makes it a little more wide. That didn't happen to me. No. No. So you didn't notice a bunch of stuff throughout it? No. Yeah, I didn't think so as, as watching this. I, it's it's something that I think mostly The Simpsons kind of plays on sometimes. When but whenever there's like references to filibustering, I feel like they're, they're, the setup is... I can't think of any specifics. Never mind. All right. <laughs> so what are your impressions of this as you were first watching it? As I was first watching it. Yes, as you were watching it for the only time. Um, well, I got, ex- I don't know, just the beginning. Uh, <laughs> the words. The words escaped. just escaped me. You loved it so right much now. that you could not put it into words. <laughs> Um, it is a, it is an old film. That is very that is sure. at the beginning of that. That is very sure. Yeah. Oh, the exciting pillars of the court and the courtroom. And mm-hmm. Although whether it was, you know, and I was like, you know what, let me take this. Maybe they're setting it up that this is kind of how the feel is of a courtroom. Courtroom. Or whatever, sorry. <laughs> We're talking about Mr. Smith this time. 12 Angry Men was a few weeks ago. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Wrong movie. No, um, but yeah, I was I, just. I don't know. I thought it dragged a lot. In the well, movie. you're a communist. I really liked all that shit because I love America. <laughs> okay. So the whole time when he goes to see Mr. Lincoln and he said all that stupid ass patriotic shit, I was eating that up. I loved it all. No, like, no. I was like about to cry. Oh, I, I was like. I, I mean, it was just kind of just going, and like when he left for the Space Needle, or not Space Needle, but the, um... <laughs> space needle. Needle. I'm so tired. Space Needle, space needle. and yes. Corn. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know things, uh, or places, or names of things, or patriotic stuff. So, when, when he just gets distracted and leaves, the capital he's like, oh, like he, well, he sees the capital dome, and then, then he goes off that. There you go, there's that. He's a, because, uh, Mr. Smith, who, uh, Daniel Boone. Yeah. You run, he's, he's the, the head of the boys thing. Yes. He wants to make the boys club. Boys camp. And, uh, but he's like fully loves everything about the, the spirit of America Mm -hmm. and has always been learning about this and, and he never dreamed of, of being anywhere in politics. Right. Um, He doesn't think he should be. No, he doesn't think he should be at all. But, but when he gets to Washington and actually sees this stuff for the first time that he's, he's talked about for a long time, he's just fully into it so he, he's completely this naive outsider as he as he comes in there um and getting distracted and enjoying all of it while the political machines are going on and he's just not a part of that at all and they don't really want him to be a part of that they're just sitting him in as a placeholder yeah um 
So as the movie went on, though, did it pick up for you at all? A little bit. Uh, right around where? Like, what kind of, what drew you in? If anything. Just when it didn't feel like, <laughs> it, when it first, it, it's hard to pinpoint a specific moment. It, it was more of when it, like, started feeling like, okay, now I've, I, I can't really say, because it's just like, now it's starting to actually tell the story of, and get to the point of the story, rather than just... Yeah, it takes a bit to, to build on there because you get him. Uh, well, first it starts off with the death, death of a senator. Yeah, and so they go quick in emotion to replace him to get the appointment, and try to get the appointment that the uh, you know political machine wants to. I'd say probably I know when it was when he was in that um, that meeting, and he just and then he's getting all like shot down, and even by his the guy who like backed him. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the guy's name. In the meeting or in, in the uh, whatever I can't remember. What it, I can't remember what it's called. They they had that specific name for it. Is it in the Senate or in? Uh, not just, no, like, no, no, no. When they're trying to choose the person, right? The, no, when they're accusing him of shit. Oh, oh that hearing, the, that yeah, the election, the, the whatever the that I can't remember. They said it like so many times. Yeah, the electoral something committee. Yeah, that that's where it picked up. For me, which was quite a ways into the movie. It picked up way was, earlier for me since the beginning. Where was? How about for you? And then we'll get back to talking about that. I think because, like, I was all patriotic and loving it, like, I liked everything all the way down. It's like, a, all the way through, I just, I, I surprisingly enjoyed it. It's one of those, it, it gets you, it, I don't know, it gets you thinking about the political process and being, uh -huh. and trying to, to change something and trying to uh, stand up for the, the ideals that America was founded on rather than just the corrupt yeah. people destroying politics. Um, and it of course, gives you, you hope hate America, but but it also it also it's not my hate of America that makes me. But it also like highlights <laughs> that it's, it's quite not the possible to change uh -huh. the things in there, and how corrupt it is, and how this machine has completely taken over it, everything. It, it literally took a corrupt guy giving up on it to yes. change that, and that's. The the and last two the minutes end, of that the was movie, the end fucking message of this. Like, the last two minutes of the movie and it changes it to try to get a positive ending in there. If you but it's not. But if you stop that at those last two minutes there, yeah, it's he is defeated, destroyed by this, and then the guy kills himself. But then it's like, oh, he didn't actually kill himself in there, and then he admits to it, and now maybe they'll tear down that corrupt guy, and yeah. we're all good. But yeah, they, but that was the ending part. But it's just one guy in that one state that did that little thing. So he, it, it showed he made that little change. But it, it really, and the it, way that this movie's going, and then even and then, it's not a for sure thing. Yeah, and the the, way, the machine can fight it. The way the way this movie's going in that, mm -hmm. it really seems like they're the message they're they're putting forth here is not the positive message that you get in that last little write up at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like that's tacked on there to end up as a, end positively because yeah, you've got to do that in a movie at, at this time. That's yeah, realistic. at that time you're right. At that time, in 1939, movies, you can't you can't, you can't make a movie it. that says government's horrible and corrupt and the end. Uh -huh. It's like the same thing as like the the uh, a bank robber has to get killed in the end or has to go to jail. He cannot get away with it. That's yeah. that that kind of thing. Um, but I mean, all that all that stuff like it even applies now. Like, yeah, yeah a lot of this shit's not going to go down, and maybe it doesn't end. But there's people who are going to stand up for it. Yeah, so you can still. And she was hot. To change it. Yeah. Shit, this she. I thought the the one girl was way hotter than the daughter. Jean Arthur. Yeah. Well, that's she had that, this little sassy attitude. I don't know. I've never I never liked <laughs> that the kind that's the I don't know. Built up with all the high fashion and all that, uh -huh. and like you'd be like, "This is the ideal of that." Yeah, right away was she like was the, like, she was just cool, more down and like, person. yeah, quiet. Is she, I was like, "Ooh, that's." Hot. She's been in the system so long, and she's partially corrupted by it too, but but sickened by how mm -hmm. much she's she's yeah. corrupted in there because she's just going along with it. Um, yeah, they're gonna pay with pennies and nickels and dimes. I love that scene in the in the <laughs> hearing when when he's being accused of everything, and yeah. it's just showing that 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 force of every like. If everyone lies yeah. in court there and you're the only one telling the truth, you're screwed. When they, you cannot stop it if you're the only person telling the truth there. It's it's just horrible. They even get the guy who's from his own state that he thought mm. he could trust like he thought he could trust a lot of these people. Oh yeah, his buddy the farmer dude. Because he's a trustworthy yeah. person. So he thinks that he can trust other people here, especially people that well, he, he was super naive. <laughs> he was just a super <laughs> naive about, dude. Yeah. And it, but that that opened his eyes, and then when he when he runs out of like the, when they go to him for his response, and he's just 
Yeah, so he just can't. He can't say anything. Cause yeah, what do you say? You are standing around with all these people who want to kill you. Yeah. And you know what? I was hoping the pigeons would play a bigger part. Maybe. They had the pigeons, and I was like, is he going to send like stuff yeah. back to them? I was like hoping something cool with the pigeons was going to happen. I Never guess the happened. pigeons were too slow. But there's a lot of... That machine goes quick. Cause the, they, I think the machine killed the pigeons. Yeah. They just sl- <laughs> sl- slit their throats. Yeah. Each little did one. see what they did to the kids? Dude, I was getting pissed. They were going to run being... over the kids. Like, <laughs> they were smacking they were them around. The kids were getting hurt there. <laughs> Those guys were assholes, and I wanted to, I wanted to beat assholes. the shit out of them while I was watching it. I was like, I want to kill these. All right, boys, boys, take the papers. <laughs> yeah, so, the one little voice they get out there, and then the the people marching on the streets and they're like hosing oh, God, them voice down. Is so good. The when they were hosing them voices. down there, it yeah. just made me that is like Ferguson and all. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. You just see the corollaries to today and all of that. It's you. You can't. You could think our government's not like this. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I got. It, this was just one one specific time in history where oh, yeah. government was corrupt. No, All the th- th- this is a movie. Good. Yeah, it's fake. This was just a movie. It's, it's fake. fake. Completely fake. No, this stuff would never happen. It's not based on any kind of reality. Nowadays. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I could really see loving, absolutely loving this film if I saw it in 1929. 1929? Ten years before it came out? Yeah. Ten years before <laughs> it came out. That's 39. Great. That get out there. 39. We should put this movie just, out there. You forget about it. But, I mean, this is one that I, I saw way early on from, uh, it, um, I don't know if I first saw it on Turner Classic Movies or, or something like that, um, but it, it was one of the earlier films I saw and, and really liked uh, James Stewart, Timmy Stewart, because um, you get in the films like uh, the, the Christmas one, It's a Wonderful Life, and Harvey, and those are those are some fun ones, and like It's a Wonderful Life gets played every year. Um, I haven't seen it, but... Yeah, so I won't talk too much about that one. Uh, but there's some dark stuff in that one, but it's—I mean, that one's much. But I already knew that there's dark stuff, and then you yeah. said pretty funny movies. You know, I was just like, yeah. No, yeah, but the, but yeah. this one is such more impactful to me. Yeah, I, I, I like his passion that he he builds in there, mm-hmm. and especially just he starts out with not knowing anything, but quickly is able to see the corruption quickly enough. Um, his speeches too. I, I really like his speeches. Yeah, when he gets when, in, in, in the filibuster He's part. Like, Some of these men should have been little boys, and like I was like, yeah, America. Yeah. And I wanted to just maybe some of these men should be little boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although the the like they use the terms of like little boys. So I also much, hate to know what, weird. Well, I hate to know what the, some of those senators are it's, doing with those little page boys. It's really it's just the un the uncorrupted right. It's just the the complete. That's what kids are they're yeah completely uncorrupted innocent the image of that that's the way i do it <laughs> not if they're in congress with my fingers <laughs> wow um <laughs> that's called the shocker kids so uh so you, you... but boys never mind. oh yeah okay. you can do it uh so you were liking this movie so what's what things didn't you like about the movie then were there anything that... Well, I mean, I guess I had to take in consideration that it was from 39, mm-hmm. so I didn't judge certain things too much. Yeah. I, uh, as, as Stefan was saying, it does, uh, it could drag at certain this, parts. I didn't, I don't think this holds the test of time very well. I disagree. I disagree. I think yeah. it does, I don't think it holds the test of time as well as, like, maybe you can find angry, some that... 12 that Angry Men, I was about to say jurors, 12 Angry Men... Freaking holds up so fantastic. Yeah, like with I think they they both. But I think that's a I think that that one holds up easier because it's a simpler um, premise to it that you're just containing it in that in that room there. This has a lot that they're trying to get across in this film. Yeah, um, and and trying to they try to establish a lot of things in there to to build it up and and show every step of the way in this. Um, and it, so in the beginning with the nomination and when they get to finding him. Um, uh, definitely because they have such a larger cast in here, there's some of the acting, especially some of the kids, maybe here and there. You don't, not Actually, everyone is, is spot on. Oh you know. my gosh, like it, yeah. this came out when, well, that's the thing. The, Gone with the Wind came out. I, I was <laughs> looking this up because this is, this being one of my favorite movies and I, I was seeing, you know, it won Best Original Story Oscar oh, and, and I was like, it, it was nominated and for, Wizard of Oz. but it was not, nom- hold on, yeah, it was nominated for Best Director, Best Actor, um, Best Picture, uh, nominated for a ton of awards that it didn't get, and so with this being one of my favorite movies, I was like, "What could have possibly beat this one out?" 
And then you look at what won, and yeah, Gone with the Wind won a uh, bunch coach. of those. Yeah, Wizard of Oz was out at the time, Stagecoach. Um, the fuck is Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Oh, Goodbye, oh, Mr. Man, Chips. Oh, man, it's such a good one. That's that movie. It's about a chip salesman who gets raped by a uh, Spoilers. ape. Spoilers. Yeah, oh, sorry. That's a different movie, so we won't talk about that today. Yeah. Um, some other good movies that came out that year. It's kind of uh, oh, wow. like when you look up the movies from '94. That's always the year that sticks out to me, where just too many good movies came out. Was that the sh- what, what year? Two, Shawshank. 2004 was Shawshank. Yeah, uh, that, was, that year is always Shawshank, a, is Pulp also Fiction, one. Uh, Forrest Gump. Yeah, like there's so many. Yeah, right, for each of those movies, like how come that didn't? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. If it had come out any other year, maybe how come ones. Shawshank didn't win? Oh, Forrest yeah. Gump. Anyway. <laughs> What's he gonna do with a little pick like that? Uh, so he filled us for like 24 hours there, non-stop talking. It's anti-American and pro-communist, apparently. What? Mr. Smith goes Washington was attacked by Washington's... Br- oh, of course. Um, <laughs> for its portrayal of corruption of the American government. It's so odd that <laughs> the, uh, the political machine would then come out and say that this movie was anti-American. Well, look, they're clearly just innocent people that don't want their bad name trashed. I mean, come on. I'd, I'd really love to see if, like, the Koch brothers, what they think about this movie, and other people that are a part of that. Uh, yeah. It's like, I, I, I can't imagine, I don't know, I think Fox News might be corrupt enough to think that they, they're, they're on this side. Mm. Like, they're on the correct, they're, they're on the right side of this. They're like, we're, I don't know. Because part of it, you can think the Tea Party kind of supporting thing that, yeah. like, this is us, we're standing up for it, but... Um, Everyone's freedom fighters. Yeah. I like that there was no women senators, the freedom fighters well, not, on both yeah. sides. The interesting thing that to me was um, mm-hmm. the, the black characters in the movie. So, I don't know if you noticed them. The oh. singers, the tap dancers, and the football players? Uh, they didn't show those, but they did have bellhops in uh, uh, when he mm-hmm. first arrives. All the uh, all the staff there. Oh were yeah, black. yeah the suitcases. And, and he then, left them with the pigeons. Those were the like, only. Hey! Those yeah. are the only black actors in the film until you show the boys in the ending from the the little boys got. Oh yeah, thing. there was a couple at the couple end. There were there were some there, and they were helping out. Yeah, so it's like the new generation there. They're more integrated and building up. No Asians or Hispanics. No, not yet. Not yet here. Not yet. It's, it's different times then. But Asians and Hispanics around in there, but you can I, I don't know you can still see his ideals carrying forth with the progressive movements there and and being friend to all, um, except for the well, yeah, it was really important James Taylors in the world. It was important for him to he kept on saying that you know little boys of all races will play together and all that. Yeah, crap. I think I think another reason um, it's hard for me to enjoy a film when it's doesn't have that Shakespearean relief in something that's so serious and kind of so true. I think there's lots and of... And just so depressing. There's lots of relief in there, but it, as it gets further on... You know, I don't know. I, I think beginning on, you get you get the relief in it. You've got some... And especially some with him and the chick. There. Yeah, with the way that he's playing around, and then you get the drunk who wants to get married, but then there's a lot of... Then it becomes more tragedy even with them. No, too. yeah, that's a... That's, I mean, that was... For me, that wasn't relief. That was... Oh, there's... You know what that was interesting? I like totally build- not going to get with her. Yeah, I like that. I like that build up of tragedy. Clearly, story wise, it doesn't make zero. It makes this isn't going to happen. But it's I love I like that <clears throat> I like that it builds in the tragedy, that it has these little hopes, these little things of oh look he's got these ideas. Oh look there's that there you know maybe he'll get married to her if she gives up and then he gets his little happy. That's why I. That's, this is not- why I I I believe in my heart that the true ending like. In their minds, they cut off. Actually, was that the as soon se- as you this, hear that this, gunshot? This senator, no. Well, even before that, I mean, the film's fine. Okay, the film as is. There's just a little bit more where the senator comes out, and then the machine shoots him down, and then it's yeah. the two of them that get. Well, he's. I mean, he's not going to be president after that, because he even said he resigns. I'm yeah. gone. I'm retired. Because he, he had the, the plans for presidency after that. So he retires. He this other guy then can't do anything. This and is just, stuck and leaves. James and, Taylor is yeah. even just the corrupt person in that state. That's he's he's the guy for that state. He's not even the guy for right exactly. every other state. Too. Exactly. So the the corruption still lives on. But you can see that the the vice president, he's the, the president of the Senate. There, he is on uh, Jimmy Stewart's side. Yes. Yeah. He 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 likes what he's doing. 
he's got this glimmer of hope in him as he's watching him through that. And every time he makes a little win, he's like, he's, he he's remembers when him. he was a fresh senator and he wanted to make change. But you know what? He got corrupted too, even though it wasn't and as you much. Know because he's but the, the vice president, he doesn't have all that power behind him pushing him to be president. He's got like the almost there. The mm-hmm. Maybe I can. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's got a little glimmer of hope in him. So we don't know who all is corrupt in this. We know that there's lots of people who are corrupt, lots of senators. We're guessing that most of them are corrupt, but we don't really know that from Especially here. Especially if they're Italian. But they all got to be the thing of, like, when, they, when they're accusing uh, uh, Mr. Smith of being corrupt, that's when all of them are against their being like, oh, how dare he? How dare he? Whenever, you know, you got to do that. You got to be, I can't believe that person would do that when everyone's doing that. Terribleness. The, yeah, there's the Simpsons episode with, Miss, with Miss, uh, Mr. Lisa goes to Washington, um, and she makes the speech about how great America is, and then she witnesses the deal yeah. going uh, forth with like the, the dam that's going to go up in Springfield, yeah. and, and it was them... the time lapse was like five minutes yeah. each time, and they're like, <laughs> when she's given the money to that, and so it changes the speech for that one. The a little girl's given up in America. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say one scene I, I liked, and I don't know why, was the hat scene. Yes, I love the hat that scene. That's cool. I've that's never seen like, that before. That's just like a great Jimmy Stewart scene, but the direction of that just focused on the hat yeah. there as he's he's fumbling with it. Oh yeah, yeah, to just show his nervousness around there. I think that's a great piece of great little piece of filmmaking. And he was there. just watching the hat the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's some that's some fun cinematography. It's like it's not important what they're saying to each other. It's it's they can say whatever they want but it's it's the this hat. conveys all of the emotion and everything, everything you, need, that you scene. need from the scene yeah. and he leaves the hat there yeah he does i know <laughs> yeah, when he, he left doesn't when he it. left and he left it, oh he almost left the object i'm like yeah wait but he doesn't go hat. back and pick up the hat you don't have your he's hat he's too nervous he's just getting out of there that's like that's funny he doesn't know his hat and it's so sad because he's so it's infatuated by her oh. at that point too well the, the other thing they don't get into here is his father who was shot in the back yeah and was a was a uh, part of the uh, he had worked with the other senator um, so I don't know I, I very much feel that uh, James Taylor Jim Taylor had something to do with him getting shot in the back there because he was a champion of lost causes he probably had those ideals too high was killed for the same reason so I think there's a lot darker part to this machine that they don't overtly show in killed here for the same reason similar reasons not the same dam it'd be crazy if it was the same dam same exact dam mm-hmm um, I don't know, I like to see all of the, I try to find the darker stuff that, that isn't overtly shown in the mm-hmm. movie because you can't at the time show all oh, that Oh, I stuff. got some dark shit about this movie that you've never heard of. Yeah, not that kind of stuff there. Oh. So, uh, the movie cost $1.5 <laughs> million. Dollars. So at that time, I'd say that's a big budget movie. Yeah. For, for a million, uh, one and a half million same, dollars. Isn't that the same as Red State? Yeah, like that's that's like the, the amount that it costs to make Red State nowadays. So like the independent money from today is I'd say from that. And it made nine million dollars. It's a pretty good return. That's just based off the nickels of dimes and all the kids that send them in. And pennies. Mm-hmm. One kid gave him nine cents. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That asshole, he's just <laughs> profiting off of this Profiting shit. off of all the coins of the children. <laughs> you know what I like is when uh they're talking shit, and he goes around and just punches everyone out. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, you, but Favorite I scene. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Favorite. <laughs> his tie's all off. His hair's messed scene. up. He's like, where are they at? Where are they at? <laughs> he's just fucking wailing. It was so good. Because what else would you do? At that, For the person that he is, not a part of this oh trying God. to be all politician and everything, <laughs> these people are all spreading lies about you. Yeah. They're like, I let you into my house. I trusted you. So, yeah. That was go so, good. Good. <laughs> he's so good. so good. And I like the pictures they took. Like he's like, Meh. yeah. Uh, <laughs> the PU and then the yeah. I think he like Heiling Hitler in one of them it was really weird. Although I guess Hitler wasn't really. It was uh, a. Yeah, I mean, it's, well, it's 1939. He was still around so. at the time. I mean, yeah. He had some weird salutes though. This was like the. This was the time. Where it's like, hey, you hear about that Hitler guy over in Germany? He's a horrible artist. Yeah. Don't buy any of his paintings. Same crazy things. Yeah. Oh, they'd probably be worth a lot now, right? Yeah, probably. Um, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, oh. what do you guys think? I say it's four stars worthy. Four stars worthy? I would go a little bit higher, but I'd round down to four. Yeah. Well, this is, for me, it's a five star movie. What? Yeah. Just... Even though the pigeons didn't do shit? I right. know. Even, like, this, despite its flaws, it just, it, it grips me very much. I, it, 
it, I love it. I love this movie so much. Every time it was on TV, I would always watch it. And uh, I, every, like, any time that I watch it, I still get into it and get all emotional. Yeah, I do When too. it gets towards that end part, and... You're like, yeah, and you're rooting for him, and you're like, going down, and you're reading all the letters. <sighs> and he's all pissed off. He's like, oh, oh. Just, just I'm like, no! Just is defeated by the weight of the machine. And it's just, <laughs> it's heartbreaking. And here comes a turd for the punch bowl. <laughs> it's just horrible. It's horrible. What did you give it? <laughs> Stefan? Jack Stefan? The guy who gave, f- one, gave one star to There Will Be Blood. I, I actually do admire like, that you guys got emotionally <laughs> invested. I mean, the problem was, I think for, my, for me, viewing this film, and when I was talking about the seriousness of it and didn't have that relief, what it really is, is like, I've been kind of, a lot of films when I view them, mm-hmm. and then I like them less than I thought I would. Like with this, that happened. Okay. Whereas, like when you th- look at the subject matter, you look at the film as a whole. Did like, you see what Netflix rated it? If you, you knew me, uh, I actually haven't rated it yet. I haven't okay. punched in my rating, so I can look it up. But if you look at the movie as a whole and you knew me, you'd go, "This should be a film that he would like." Yeah, and it would make all sense. But I end up not liking it because, for me, I don't. I'm not going to get emotionally invested because I communist. I'm already on the thought. I'm like, oh. This movie is <coughs> Kafka. Like, it's Kafka. Yeah. Essentially, right? And I'm just like, I'm not going to get emotionally invested if I'm going to read a Kafka book. Like, I, I know where this is going. I don't going. know what a Kafka books are, so I'm assuming that they're well, anti-patriotic communists. On, like, they're the like scale the, of, like, the ha- tentacles and the schoolgirls? Like, on the mm-hmm. scale of, like, happy, on the, like, up and down, right? Mm-hmm. This is the, from the beginning to the end. Oh. And it doesn't stop going down. Yeah, yeah. That that's that's Kafka. Let's just what? say. So and so and so I just don't get in. I just don't get emotionally invested. And that might be one of the probably one of the major reasons I didn't like the film as much as I should have. Okay. Um, but after watching it, even I understood that, and I'm even bumping my, I'm bumping the rating up just a tiny bit because I know that about the film, and really I should, and I know that I would like the film if I actually got emotionally invested I'm giving it a three alright I knew that was going to happen yeah. three stars two one of my favorite films of all time it's not a one I know I know that's fine there's only one it's an old movie you know some people Tony <laughs> <laughs> I mean, passing the buck here nominated for 11 Academy Awards and all that good stuff. But, uh, that's right yeah. that's right Yep. This so, movie's 75 years old. Did you know that? Released October 17th, 1939. Wow. So, in about a few weeks, this is the W. This yeah, 70, that's, that's 75th like, anniversary that's of this movie. Three, yeah, two, three weeks or now. And then when they invo- invaded You know, Poland? everyone who. I don't know about the kids. Maybe not the kids in this movie, but all of the adult actors and all of the, the writers and directors of this movie, they're all dead. Except for one. Oh Matthew, my god, Matthew dude. Cornig or something. It's not, it's 5.0. What? I love it. Damn. I Son. love it. See? That's how oh you my... should be feeling. I, I, you... think, I think that is. I think it's right. It's just, I just couldn't get emotionally invested. Yeah. Boo. If you had seen it at a different point of your life, maybe, if, if this before, were... Before I got jaded by government. Yeah. If you weren't so jaded, if you yeah. weren't jaded before that. And I think, yeah, I, I don't think I was as jaded by government when I first saw this. Um, I was much younger, I didn't, you know, you see politics in a different way, you think that everything can affect change. Were you from the Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts? Yeah, I was. Oh. It's part of that reminded me of that, and I was like, hey, Cub Scouts. Yeah. I was in Cub Scouts. I I I only got up to, like, Bear or something. I think this film could have been a (laughs) five-star for you. I did too, actually. I did did Bear. I only got up to Eagle. (laughs) Fuck that, please. Um, Eagle? (laughs) Yeah. That's like the second highest you can get. What was the corn called? I don't even remember. Corn? Hey, we blows? Show another one. Uh, we blows. Yeah. Wait. We blows. Anyway. Michael Jackson. Muggles. So, so yes. Next? My next Let's pick. Stop talking about this movie. Again. Um, and we're going to start doing October now. Mr. Smith goes um, to Hollywood. To Hollywood. This is an October film. Um, well, from my perspective, yeah, sure. Yeah. From my perspective, too. This that is, is scary. And this is your government. And, like, very real. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, scary in the very real sense of the word. I love that it um, doesn't have supernatural elements in the horror. Anyway. <laughs> what's, what's, what's your cup of tea? 
Well, actually, it won't... I don't know if it's my cousin. I haven't seen it okay. before, so there you go. What horror films have I seen? I'm trying to pick horror films here because it's October, so I literally looked up under the horror category and started searching until I found one that it thought I'd like. Mm. <laughs> so, after three weeks of research, you finally came across it. Yes, after much digging. It actually took a little while. Um, but we're going to watch uh, John Dies at the End. Spoiler alert, I haven't seen this one yet. This has been like on my queue since it came out. I've never even heard of it. Nor I've have heard, I seen it. I've, this, I've seen. Nor the, have I thought about it. I've Whoa. seen the box art somewhere. It's. I don't know where. This when this movie came out, I, I was hearing a lot about it, and I was trying to go out and see it in theaters, and it was one that one of those movies that didn't get much of a release. Yeah. And then yeah, so I, I've been like, and then as soon as it got on Netflix, I was like, yes, finally, I'll watch this. And so it gets put in that queue. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> on the never ending so queue. I always love when this happens when you pick a, when someone picks a movie that I that's on like that's on your like, queue. Yes, yeah, I like finally get an excuse to watch this. Get to watch that. All right. Well, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, thank you yeah, all hopefully. for watching this. So. And um, let me know what you think about communist. this movie too. Put in, the, put in the comments or anything about what do you think about this movie? Um, if you think it holds up, and. What you recommend for other old movies that hold up, maybe? I don't know. I'm so jaded. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, see you next Mr. week. Mr. Smith goes to Washington.